What's cracking, everybody? How's it going? Welcome back to another episode of Is This Reefing? It's a Friday, day before uh, New Year's Eve. Status update on the tank. Uh, for Christmas, I got a feeding tube with a little dish. Bada boom, you know. I uh, was going to use it to uh, feed the mandarin. The mandarin seems to be doing kind of okay. It's still around, still pecking, still pecking. Ran to the fish store. My local fish store has this right here. Todd's Pods. Uh, thousand Tisbees. Perfect food. Yada, 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 yada. Feed your entire reef. Blah, 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 blah. Probably can't see anything, but maybe if we slow it down, might see something jittering in there. I don't think so. But a bunch of Fido. Um, I ordered uh, 5280 pods from Algae Barn, a ball of Chato and Reef Magic, the little Fido stuff that they give you. But uh, due to delays, they delayed my order. So I wanted to just make sure that I had something in the, in the tank here. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and leave that on my desk. Um, and then in the middle of the night, I'll go ahead and add it at night with shut off all the pumps and stuff for a little bit of time. And then um, that way I can let the uh, pods do their thing. Hopefully they can last uh, but as we did go to the fish store, did pick up some more fish because I hella wanted some. And what did we get? What did we get? Well, um, I used to have these a long time ago and I wanted to get them again. This is a possum wrasse or a pygmy wrasse, white banded. Um, they need to color up a bit. You can tell that they're kind of stressed. Um, I bought one because I asked if they were what they were feeding and they put in some mysis and the general mix that they give everything and uh, I saw it go for it I saw it eat so I was like all right cool because usually they're really like stick to the rock work a little bit um and then I already fed these guys earlier today but man they can just eat forever you know what I'm saying but um but yeah I have both of them down there um, I'm gonna get them acclimating um I decided to actually buy myself a legit uh, acclimation box as you can tell the other one was just not legit uh, so this one's got a nice lid so I bought this this is the double wide and this is the uh, here I can give you the instructions if you guys ever want to look this up seaside aquatics acclimation box this is the smo2 um, it does come with a divider so if you want to separate two you have that or you just have this fully open and then it does have a lid um, as you can tell, it can kind of hook in there, boom, and then this snaps to the other side. And uh, it's really easy, and it comes just, you know, like everything else acrylic. Had to unpeel that, and then it uses O-rings to kind of keep these little chips together. Uh, so it does have some moving around. Um, and then you've got screws right here, so you can kind of tighten it and keep it straight while it's in there. Um, yeah, so that's where we're at right now. Tank's still really looking good, you know? Um, Really trying to get some more color out of the Jolly Rancher. Uh, the A-cans, they're doing good. They're just not as puffed up as they are right now. Again, this was a rose bubble. Just don't know what it's doing, but it's not dying. Random, random little Zoas. The Blastos, they're doing real well. GSP, starting to give me anxiety, so that means it's doing well. This Rock Frag, still looking good. Little plugs here. Not too much growth, but they're still alive. And then, um, yeah, and then we've got these guys, the Ultras. They're doing great. I fed them some Silver Sides earlier. They chomped them up, doing real good. Um, I think they're liking this extra Kessel. I don't know. And uh, funny enough, if I can move this, I will show you what I noticed. Um, you can kind of tell where the light is being emitted. There's obviously a hot spot right here in the center which is probably why the Duncan's feeling it. But the uh, Ultras are kind of on the outer ring, you know? Let me see if I can, yeah, they're kind of on the outer ring. So they're not really getting full lighting, but it's not bad, you know? And then there's a, I can't really tell, right there. Uh, it's kind of, it's kind of in, uh, oh, here we go. It's kind of popped out. This rose bubble's really starting to come out again, which is good. I've been sort of spot feeding that guy a little bit to kind of come back out. But overall, tank health, super well. Everything's doing really, really well. Um, from the last video, oh, this is kind of starting to overdo it. 
I gotta fix that. It's probably because the bags are in there, but this little skimmer is doing a lot of work, which is awesome. Um, let me take care of that, actually. Good thing we checked here together. Um, ATO, Duetto, still doing good. I gotta fill it up again still. Um, but yeah, that's the, that's a bit of a tank update for the most part. Um, everything seems to be doing really, really well. I'm excited about that. I don't know. This is probably like month three or four, maybe. I don't know. Since we literally started with two clowns and some Dr. Tim's, you know, and here, here we're at, you know, and I feed, um, the, let's see, Mysis with spirulina, uh, refrenzy. I just got, that was refrenzy nano. Now I have just some refrenzy because these big, these the black oscillaris or the black clowns really getting hungry. You can kind of tell the belly on this guy. They just ate, you know, so they're doing well, but they'll just nonstop eat. Um, and then, yeah, just spot feeding everything else. Tanks, I, I can't say it enough. Tanks doing really well, really healthy. I'm glad that the skimmer is really working. Um, I'm actually going to check if that skimmer will fit into this bigger compartment here because um, I'd rather skim right out of the water um, and then that would just give me more just refugium so I can have stuff living down there um, but yeah all right guys that's about it for this update here uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get these fish acclimated and then hopefully I'll show you a video of them in the box and then um, make sure that they eat up here in the box for a little bit let the other fish kind of know where they're at hopefully we don't have any crazy accidents like last time kind of debating whether i just just get them in the tank you know like let them go but these guys are kind of aggro as you can tell sometimes so all right let's get this let's get this started all right got my possum wrasses in here uh this one here i bought first and then i left and then i was like you know they really like being in pairs so i ran back and i got this other guy they were having a 2023 23 percent sale as they are aggro on each other so that's weird just kidding uh they'll be fine <laughs> um so uh so I got them in here, and the way I'm acclimating is basically taking my extra long turkey baster, putting that in here, and then kind of just going, going from there. I'm going to take this water out, dump it, and then do this a couple more times, and then I'm going to go ahead and get them in this guy. Here we go and put this in together. Oh, look at that. Boom. That's real nice. Um... Uh, I don't know about that, though. It's no use having a lid if it's not going to stay down. Yeah, we'll figure that out. But, all right. Either way, um, I'll be able to get these guys in. They'll have a lot of time to just chill um, while I go and get some food, and we'll go from there. All right, got these guys in the tank. Uh, I'm moving into the back wall. It's a little less flow. Um, I had them here where the tank was, but I think uh, with the actual pump going and the ai it was just blowing at like the little guy was trying to get used to it um but now that i've got them in the back there they seem to be a little bit more in control they can get used to the flow um they look like they're doing pretty good back there so i just don't know what's going on funky fish i like them though hopefully they make these hopefully they make it I did see him eat. The one on the left there is just fucking... I don't know. You never know. You never know. But, all right. Time to go get food. I'll leave the tank be for a little bit. When I come back, I'll kind of feed everybody again. Hopefully everything's good. I'll check back in with you guys. All right, guys. This is a couple days later. It's actually Wednesday. I've had them in the acclimation tank for probably, I'd say... Well, they went in Friday. <clears throat> it is now uh, Friday. It's Wednesday. So, dang, almost almost a week, work week, I guess. Uh, five days every day. This dude's been dude, this this dude's been dropping a deuce for like pff, three hours. I feed them spirulina mysis and then uh, little little bits of refrenzy nano. Um, as soon as I put food in there, they're both eating. They've actually colored up a little bit. They were much more white, uh, but you can actually tell that they are white banded, um, which is great. They're starting to color up, but I want to get them out of this tank. Um, so I turned the pump off. I just have the prime on now. And I guess what I'm going to do here without dropping my phone is uh, I'm going to take them out of this box. 
Um, and then casually is probably not the best bet to dump them back here. Uh, but maybe I just I have the anemone right there, so maybe I can bring them over to this side. Kinda, kinda just tip the box over, you know, and set you guys free. Let them go out how they want. We got one, and then we're just gonna, we're just gonna. Ooh, ooh, ooh you're in there. You're in there, bro. I'm gonna set this box off to the side here to hang. And that's it, they're gone. Never to be seen again. Oh no, they're back there. There's one of them. All right, there's both of them, cool. Hopefully they kind of pair up. Again, I don't know if they are male or female, but I don't think they're gonna pair or anything, but at least they're back there. Yeah, you know, he's got one of these big old black oscillaris. Don't want them to beat up on him or anything, but they're in the tank. They should know each other by now. Hopefully they get along. Uh, don't know why you're just right there at the bottom, but probably just trying to hide. I would, because this asshole's just in the way, but I've fed them. Yeah, he's going away. Where's the other one? Up here at the top. Boom. Uh, but yeah, they're in. They're in. Um, this anemone decided to move underneath. I fed, uh, everyone got a, uh, well, everybody. This one and that one got a silver side head. This one ended up just getting a full-on blast of, uh, mysis with, um, reef blizzard. I don't know why this is not, there you go, reef blizzard extreme. And it loved it. It closed up instantly once that hit. Um, this anemone actually still has a silver side in it. So loving that. I'll tell you what. Um, yeah, everything seemed to be doing really well. Uh, ordered a bunch of corals. That's probably going to be the next video once you guys get to see this one. Uh, the previous one was obviously the, the Nero 5. Not a single issue since. So still doing really well. This guy's just chilling down here. I'll give you guys a little sneak peek. Oh, it's probably just trying to hide. You know how they get. Should be fine, though. I mean, it's been in the box for like a week. This dude, he's hanging out with the clowns already, so that's fine. This dude's been trying to like take a poop for like two hours, though. So he probably needs to get rid of that, and then he'll be good. Pump so will turn on here any minute. We've got about three minutes and a half. Basically, I need to get this thing cleaned up, and I'll hang it in the sump for now. Um, yeah, little update. Let me get the cat out of the way here. Little update on this Aqua Gadget um, skimmer that I put down here. I have it off right now because I reef blizzarded the whole system, so I just want to like let that really cycle for a while. But I've got it skimming really well, and this is for 25 gallon. Obviously, this system is for 60. Or this system is 60. This is technically supposed to be for 25. Um, but I have it real sludgy. Um, and to get this far took about a week. So it's definitely doing work. Um, I don't really want a wet skim. I want a really, really dry skim. And that's that's basically what we have now, which is great. Because I have a thing for overfeeding. Um, I also have an algae barn uh, order coming in. Uh, 5280 pods and a chato ball. I'm going to throw in there. I have a light I can throw in there. So I'm going to do a... A, a small skimmer refugium type setup and again this is is this reefing so i overfeed um i build my tanks to handle the overfeeding um and i just kind of throw the whole kitchen sink at some things you know how you doing bro still chilling all right he'll probably come alive once the tanks turn on here let me just turn that on real quick all right to not bore you guys we're gonna go ahead and wrap this up uh they're both in the tank this guy is oh he's he's gone He's gone. Okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. So not wrapping this up. Quick little detour though. Quick little detour. I did get a little paranoid and I took the GSP off this guy and uh, I threw him in that back corner because I was just like, I don't want to destroy my nice rock because I have some cool stuff coming in the future. So if I get some GSP up the back there, might knock him over because I don't really want the side glass 
this is my nice desk view, so if it starts growing this way, I just screw myself. But Rass is gone. Um, this anemone threw up the massive silver side I gave it. Uh, Hermit thought he was going to get a quick lunch, found its way around. I fed it to this big dude. He's already eaten one, but he just said, you know, say less, and he just took a second one. Probably throw it up, but I got enough cleanup crew to handle everything. Um, but yeah, both wrasses are now in the tank. Where they're at, nobody knows. But uh, let's see if maybe there's one. There's the smaller one already pecking at the rocks, so that's good. Um, and I guess this other one has got to be. It's got to be somewhere, guys. Instantly they hide, right? That's what we know about them. There's that same one again. Uh-oh. I found him. That's not good. Hold up. Jeez, this is an excitement. But yeah, I did find him by the weir. I gave him a little a little tap, and he came down, and he met up with his buddy. And, uh... Oh, he was definitely swimming around. Oh, look. There was, there was one there, and I got one here. So, I don't know so weird you know they're in a box literally for five days eating having fun living their life i let them out and one of them's like i can't take it maybe he's just stressed out you know they get stressed out but he seems like he's swimming seems like he's doing all right seems like he's doing all right you know maybe just needed a little a little jump start anyways guys i'll let you know how this phenomenon works out but Thanks for tuning in to another episode of Is This Reefing? I'll let you guys know, and I'll get the, get the filter on next time. My bad. Peace.